The first step in building our raised bed, after we've assembled our tools, is to measure and mark the cuts that we're going to be making on the lumber. And so we're going to refer to our diagram to refresh our memory about what it is that we need to do. So this first uh, smaller post is going to be 16 inches. 16 inches long. So we'll measure and mark all those. Now we're measuring the longer boards for the sides that are going to be 60 inches long. The long sides. So the, these are um, the boards we're using for the long side. So we want to make sure that we're getting a nice, clear, marked line because this is where we're going to saw. So all of the marked lumber is going to be sawing on a marked edge, which is why you're using a marker. Now we're going to saw the lumber with a circular saw. Now we're going to drill the holes. I've positioned the wood that I'm going to drill over the, the two end pieces below because if my drill goes through this wood into the end pieces, it won't be a problem and it gives me a stable surface to work on. All right, now we're going to attach the corner post to the two short sides. I'm using a two inch screw because Given the thickness of my wood, that should uh, be plenty long enough to not only go through the corner post, but also pretty far into the wood below. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how it's gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna position each of the screws in the pilot holes that I have already drilled so that um, they're in place and I don't need to move my drill and get a new screw each time. It'll just make it go a little bit faster. And that's one reason we drilled the pilot holes is so the screws could sort of stand up on their own a little bit. It's a good idea to wear gloves when you're doing this. All right, so I'm going to use my drill. Okay, you can see that the wood is a little bit hard underneath there, so I'm gonna have to apply a little bit more pressure. First, I'm going to back that screw out a little bit so that I've got everything in place again. There. All right, the next step is to attach the long side boards to the end pieces that we've already put in place. So again, I'm using pilot poles that I have pre-drilled to position my screws that I'm gonna to use to screw into this, the side, this long sideboard into this short end board that's been reinforced with the corner post. Uh, we've already attached both boards of one long side to the end post. Now we're going to put the other two end boards, our long boards, on an end post. So I've put the work we already did on the ground. So we've got end pieces are facing upward so that I can drill this long side into the end post. 
Again, I had pilot holes I'd pre-drilled. step in preparing your raised bed for planting is to line it with either landscaping cloth or in this case um, plastic sheeting. This is four millimeter plastic sheeting. Uh, the reasons why you want to do this are first to keep the soil from flowing out of the bottom, secondly to retain moisture, third to suppress weeds and last just to prevent your plants from getting into contact with any toxins in the soil below.